So we're going to start off by talking about posing is energy. It's all about energy, the energy, the vibes that we put out. So there's more to a pose than just how it looks. It's all about body language. Just as words can be inviting or defensive, so can the energy produced by any pose. So this is the same young man. He was about 16 years old when I photographed him. Look at the look at the energy that each pose creates. You know, the one on the camera left, you know, he looks like a happy nerd. Um, the complete opposite, he's a cool dude. I mean, look what you can do with your clients, um, you know, just based on posing and clothing, um, lighting. Um, you know, we have um, Brit on the left. Um, he looks menacing. And that is not his personality, by the way. He is a very, you know, shy, quiet, respectful human being. Um, I used to work with him in my former life before I became a photographer. So I know Britt really well. And he is the person on the right, what you see there. He's peaceful. Um, you know, he's, uh, you know, just a very kind soul. But when we talk about the energy, look at the energy just from posing and communicating through nonverbal body language. You know, this young boy, he's, to me, he's teacher's pet. He's looking for approval. Um, you can kind of tell that with his pose and the goofy look on his face. You know, then the same boy, you know, he's sweet and confident. Um, you're getting all these different looks through different posing. This is Zoe. Um, she is really serious and determined when it comes to ballet. So I wanted to capture her essence you know, through posing and her facial expression. It's a nonverbal communication that I am doing through her love of ballet, but she is determined to make it as a ballerina. And then this is her, camera right, um, in a totally different look. And to me, she's telling me she's unique. She's expressing her uniqueness, creative and bold. So um, we're going to talk about all sorts of stuff. And we're going to start with camera angle, and we're going to be doing this to talk about how to flatter our clients' bodies. But first, um, I want to talk about a myth that is prevalent when it comes to photography, whether it's video or still photography. And I selected this image. That is me. Um, I For 25 years, I, I worked in television. That was my former life before um, I became a still photographer. And, you know, there's a myth out there that says the camera puts on 10 pounds. And that myth was very prevalent in the television industry, and it probably still is. Um, I used to joke with the videographers before I went live on the air and say, can you put your skinny filter on, um, you know, to make me look 10 pounds lighter? Well, they can't do that. And I figured out once I became a photographer why that myth is around, it's because we had to face the camera directly, and that is not a great pose that puts on weight, as you're going to see in the next um, frame. The truth is, your camera can remove 10 pounds, um, you know, and the necessary ingredients to do that, it's your lens, the direction, camera angle, and posing, and we're going to look at all of this. 